This is Sneaker Show Podcast. It's a weekly show 100% about sneakers. Sometimes we have guests and we do this week. A great guest, a guy we're excited to introduce you to. We're also talking about the new colors from New Balance for the Protection Pack. They are doing more colors for the Protection Pack. I'm excited for that. My name is Tim. You can find what we're looking at on YouTube. Thank you for listening. We are doing this on YouTube as well. The account is Sneaker Show Podcast. What else are we talking about this week, guys? What's up, Young Tabasco? You can find me on Instagram. That is Young Tabasco, two C's, no typo. And speaking of twos, we got another Jordan 2 collab. This is one none of us seen coming, I'm pretty sure. And then we've got a, uh, a very intricate piece of Nike to talk about, a, a department that does their own friends and family shoes for strictly the friends, strictly the family. Fredo, what do you got this week? Uh, Fredo out of Medicine Hat. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok at 403 Fredo. Uh, talking a little bit about Air Max Day. Told a good story about a pair of just Dawn 2s from back in the day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Super good chopping it up with Nate. So this guy, Nate, is someone we're just meeting on the podcast. We've followed him on Instagram. He's just starting to do TikTok as well, but the guy knows what's up. I am jealous of his style, the way he puts things together. You're looking for Nate dot T3. Is that right? Nate dot T3? Yeah. That was his sure. Instagram. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nate a natural. T3 on TikTok. Guys fit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That too. But uh, yeah, what a natural. Great to have on. Great to chop it up with him. Can't say enough good things. Real positive guy. And, and he's really rocking with us. So that feels good. We'll definitely be having him on again. Yeah. So without any further ado, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Here we go with Nate T3. All right. This is Sneaker Show Podcast. We're having fun. We're having laughs. We got our buddy Nate here. Nate, What's going on, brother? Let's have some chats. Let's see what's going on. I got a couple questions for you. You want to start with me? Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. I'm happy to be on. Happy you guys uh, chatting it up with you guys, talking sneakers. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to be on with you guys. We appreciate you being here. I love the way you style sneakers. I just want to start asking you about what is difficult for you to style. Is there a pair? Because you make it look easy, Nate. Love, man. I mean, it's definitely not easy. I mean, when I'm making like a reel or something like that, you guys should see the room. There's like piles of clothes everywhere. I just trying to pick out the nice uh, combos. I'll go with things. But for me, I mean, when I grab stuff, I think about versatility for things that I can use with a lot of different outfits. So before I even buy something, I'm thinking about, okay, how many different ways can I style this? I'm trying to stretch my money. I mean, I, I, I've, I've had to retail a couple times, not often. It doesn't happen often enough. So if I'm, if I'm paying any resell on something, uh, I'm going to want to stretch my money with that. Right. So, I mean, versatile sneakers is the name of the game. Versatile clothing is, is something I'm a big proponent of too. So uh, yeah, that's my, that's my secret. That's my tip for anyone kind of building up their wardrobe a little bit, looking to style a lot of stuff is use items that you can use with a lot of different fits. That's the key for sure. It's part of why I like watching your reels so much. When you just show a guy what you can do with a puffer, like you talk about versatility, that's it, that's you can it. make a black puffer look a million ways. That's it. That's it. Yeah, man. So I'm just going to pass it over to Nathan and Shay. Let's let's get to know Nate a little bit here and then we can get into doing what we do weekly. Yeah. So I guess kind of pivoting off of Tim's question, um, where do you find that your style is influenced? Yeah, I mean, a lot of different places. Uh, obviously, Instagram is a big one. Uh, a lot of cool creators on there. Like, I know just some Canadian ones off the top of my head. You got Bryce Kicks. Uh, you got M Malcolm, obviously, uh, yeah. really killing the game uh, with some really solid stuff. So um, YouTube videos are huge. Like, uh, I'm really diving into uh, uh, the lifestyle content a lot lately, too, with just more like, like Carlos Harris Jr., uh, Ron Dog. You know what I mean? Some of those guys that are really... Uh, fashion based, but really kind of more expanding into that lifestyle network as well and incorporating that street style in with it still. But I mean, it's cool to see that that growth, right? And what's kind of more popular, what has a, a little bit of a higher reach with it. Uh, but always having kind of fashion as that, uh, that staple piece that's uh, part of your brand, right? So I mean, that's uh, a couple of people that I really like watching their reels and their uh, picks go up, uh, definitely draw a lot of inspiration from from some of those guys for sure. 
Yeah, yeah, some real good names there. Carlos is crazy. Like I watched him vacuum his house today on Instagram, and I was like, "This, what, this is so cool." Yeah. Why was this? Why was this cool? Yeah, I mean, he's got exactly. the Dyson out, man. He's waving that thing around, and I was, yeah, I watched the whole thing. And I, like, I gotta go clean my house right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. guy's looking. Yeah, I don't know what he, he's just cleaning his house every other day. I don't. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. It look good, man. There's I a market yeah. for it, so. Yeah, maybe he goes crazy. I I know. Uh, like, obviously, you know, we all know a little trick to shooting content is to shoot a bunch at once. So maybe he just, you know, changes fits, cleans the house, you know, gets the gets the tripod out and goes to town. Who knows? But. I got this guy's secrets yeah. yeah yeah he's doing it and he's and he's making it look good but uh that's it yeah yeah great list honestly um some very familiar names there um yeah no that's awesome so i'll just get right into the next one then um what do you have your eyes on that's coming out soon is there anything whether it be out already or again coming out soon that you're really trying to track down yeah i mean a couple of things i mean my most recent pickups i got the the omnir burn one and then I got, uh, oh man, needed to get that, needed to get that one for sure. That's a, uh, oh, that's a grill for me. Uh, it's gonna, I feel like it's gonna go up like crazy too. Absolutely. Um, but I also, yeah, yeah. Um, just got the, the Fire Red 4. So this year I have my eye actually on a bunch of, uh, of OG colorways. I don't have too many OG colorways. So just got the, the Fire Red 4s. Um, I want like a pair of Black Cement 3s. I feel like that's a, a staple shoe to have in the collection. Um, I got my eye on like uh, a, a good, actually, it's fairly used, but uh, still in really good condition. A pair of shadows. Oh, okay. um, I grab those soon. Yeah. Um, other than that, though, I have um, a couple like spring summer pairs I'm trying to pick up, like the neutral gray lows. I want to grab those just because it's going to be, again, you know what I mean? I just said the versatility that's going to go a long way. Where that with a bunch of different fits, they even look good, like with that little bit of wear to them, right? So, so good, uh, neutral yeah. gray lows are going to be crazy this summer. Uh, I want to grab the Hyper Royals too. I think that's probably going to be the next pickup. The Hyper Royals for like that springtime, um, uh, that summertime looks, lots of different light light tones with that. It's going to go crazy. So those are kind of on my list right now, but I definitely want to focus a lot on uh, the OG colorways this year, kind of up in my collection with those. Um, as for like releases coming out this year though, I mean, there's a couple good ones that I'm, I'm definitely excited about. Um, you got obviously the Georgetowns coming out pretty soon. Those are going to be crazy. Uh, I love that they're doing that 85 cut. Um, obviously, we've all heard about the the, the Chicago's <laughs> dropping dropping holiday season. I'm sure we'll get into that uh, with that age look. Those are going to be crazy. I'll, I'm getting three pairs of those at least. <laughs> oh, man, oh, dude, uh, even those even those yellow toes are looking pretty crazy. Those are those are that's a nice color. I love that color blocking. Whenever they do it right, those are going to hit different too. So those are a couple uh, that I got my eye on this year. Yeah, nice. Um, so. Being that you're, go you said you were going after like OG color blocking and stuff like that. Are you a big Jordan guy, or do you just like the black and red? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I love the nostalgia, nostalgia of it all. Like, I love that you can get kind of get a color with that Jordan actually played in and things like that, and kind of seeing them on court with those different looks, uh, and then styling them kind of your own, taking your own take on that later on. But uh, that's something I definitely love, and I love the nostalgia, and I love the sport. So um, it's definitely good to kind of get some of those actual pairs that he played in. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, I didn't, that's not to say I don't love the, the new colorways and the new spins that they have coming out on them as well. But I feel like you got to have at least a couple in, in your rotation for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Well, I'm going to throw it to Fredo here. I know he's got some real good questions, so we'll see what he's thinking. Yeah, I just wanted to talk, I know, just from cruising your Instagram. Um, for those that don't know, you can follow Nate on Instagram at nate.t3. Um, he's super into fitness and that. Um, I kind of did some digging and one of your first pictures that you had on your Instagram feed, I noticed you were working out in some true blue threes back in 2016. Um, have you kind of yes, always sir. been into like working out in those kind of shoes, like sneakers and that? Yeah, man. I mean, uh, yeah, I've been working, working at Good Life actually for a, quite, quite a while now, like five years now, but into fitness probably my whole life. Um, so I always, I was honestly into fitness probably even before I was into sneakers. I mean, before I could actually get a couple pairs that I actually liked. And the True Blues were actually a, one of the first pairs I actually picked up. Um, and those are long gone. Like those are, don't even see the light of day anymore. They're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're in the vault, but they're, they're not usable anymore. So, uh, but yeah, like I, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of just like looking good in the gym, feeling good. And just that, that translates right into the, the confidence that you have in, in the gym, out of the gym. 
Uh, and just like that external appearance goes a long way, right? I think people underestimate how much that actually does for you and just kind of looking good uh, uh, inside the gym and kind of going in with that mentality that you're going to kill it in there. And then that, that translates, right? So definitely is applicable to other areas too. Well, yeah, I mean, like even that would have been like six years ago. And I know even now I see you in like, you know, dunks and ones and fours. Uh, do you have like a favorite sneaker that you like to work out in? Like one that you find comfy? Um, it, it really depends on the day. Like if I'm doing anything, like if I'm doing any calves, I'm probably not going to be rocking my kicks that day, <laughs> but any, any, anything <laughs> else I'll, I'll probably rock. Like, um, yeah, any, any Jordan one is going to be decent, even for like getting a good squat in or anything like that. Um, anything flat, nothing with a, too much of an arch. So I'll, I'll work out in the fours. I'll work out in the ones a decent amount. Threes are a little bit bulky. I mean, that was kind of back in the day, I'd kind of throw on anything that I had and just go in. But now I'm a little bit more selective, trying to keep those fresh pairs fresh. Like probably won't be rocking the Alma Manier to the gym. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'll probably, I'll probably save those for no, fair occasion, enough, fair enough. Yeah. Word. No, I love that. Um, Tim, you got anything else? Yeah, man. I just I just love what Nate's saying about sloughing around in the in the gym. Unless you're actually putting in cardio. Put some heat on your feet and feel good about it. That's you're just, it. Damn right. You're not going to be kinking out the toes. How many days a week are we doing calves anyways? Exactly. Yeah. And some Negative people, long, you know. they just take it too far with like the nasty old Converse chucks on, the white ones that mm -hmm. have turned yellow. Like we're just, we're indoors, people. Put something on. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Those That's old it. bands, good it. God. <laughs> 15 better days, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's uh, really good to get to know you just from the, the outsider's perspective. You seem like such a cool guy on Instagram. So we appreciate you being here on Sneaker Show. So we're just going to have a look at some new pairs and uh, see how you feel about it. Feel free to jump in on anything. Cool, cool. All right, we're going to start with a pair for Air Max month. March is about St. Patrick's Day. We start hearing about green shoes. We start hearing about 420 shoes. The whole month is dedicated to Air Max. Now the day is, what's it on the 26th? Fredo, yeah, what do we got for Air Max Day this year? Um, so yeah, I think, yeah, you got the picture there. Um, so we're looking at an Air Max one. They're doing a bunch. This was kind of the one that stood out to me. Um, this one, we're looking at an Air Max one in a white bone and iridescent arrangement. Uh, the pair pops out without much use of color. Has an iridescent overlay that changes colors in different lighting and angles. Um, so depending on where you are, you can kind of get like a blue or a green or a purple. Um, it's surrounded by a mesh suede and leather panels. You can find it, or, sorry, you can find the, the 3.26, like the Air Max date. You can find it on the tongue and the outsole. Um, and then along with this on the sole, you can find it in the box as well as kind of a little dedication to Paris. Um, and then just kind of some background on that. So it comes with a special box, comes with a bunch of like extra hang tags and special tissue paper. Uh, and then this was kind of the bummer for me when I found out. So it's not only gonna be a women's exclusive release, um, but they're also going to be a Euro exclusive release as well. So, Ooh. yeah, I saw the women's exclusive and got sad face, but Nate, what do you think of these? Yeah. I mean, these, these are cool. I definitely like the, um, like that kind of iridescent look that they got to them. I definitely see it as a little bit more of a women's shoe to be easier to style uh, details wise. I love the, the outsole there. I love what they did with that, that writing on the bottom. Um, definitely a nice visual. Um, like the little details of, yeah, exactly with the hang tags in there. Um, overall, like a, like a solid shoe. I mean, it, Air Max has never been, uh, that goes, kind of goes back to like that easy to style um, silhouette. And definitely some of them can work. I definitely feel like uh, they have their place, but a little bit harder to style than the average shoe. So it wouldn't be really my go-to in terms of a silhouette. Uh, but there's some OG Air Max 90s that are just, you know what I mean? They're, 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 they're great to have in the collection, things like that. Um, but yeah, these ones, I don't know if I'm going to be getting any, any fits off with those, to be honest with you. No, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Tim, what do you think of these ones? Fun. Um, sad. Always sad when there's something that you're excited for, but you know, it doesn't come in your size. Uh, it, it brings me back to my thought that there need to be shoes just for you that women want just to even this out a little bit. Equality. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> Tabby, what do you think of these? 
Tim, wouldn't these wouldn't these come in your size? Like if they if they go to a women's twelve, they come in my size, so they got to come in your size. Oh, I'm just sad for Fredo. I honestly, I I don't think that I am man enough to wear these. <laughs> or European man enough to wear these, I suppose. Yeah. Given the release, it's a cool pair. Um, there's there's nothing wrong with these, right? The execution's nice. Um, it's a good Air Max Day release, but. Yeah, probably not one I'm going to try and hunt down. I'm not a big all-white shoe guy, which I guess might be weird because I'm not really a big dark shoe guy either. I like that somewhere in the middle pops a color, white on the shoe, not entirely. Kind of go from there. But yeah, I'll pass on these just because I think we're getting a plethora of uh, other Air Maxes that are coming out that are just hot, to say the least. Yeah, there's a ton of good stuff that I've been seeing on my Instagram feed and that that I think is going to be super dope yeah um i think you got a pair of twos to talk about right yeah yeah for sure yo before we go too far though we got to remember to talk about the air maxes that are on the way tabby actually pulled a manual cop it happened yeah yeah we can just touch on that now it's been a it's yeah. been a it's been a good week uh um <laughs> it's been a week dude <laughs> it's, it's a good week to be fredo i guess because i've been hitting for him he'll be getting a pair of those uh supreme brazil dunk highs and okay. he'll, and he'll be getting a pair of those uh concepts air max 90s um courtesy of the boy manual because uh yeah yeah you know if you need something before it comes out you got to come to the hitman himself right <laughs> So uh, I'm super excited for Fredo to get these. I'm super excited to get them in hand. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a good week. It's just one of those ones where everything was rolling my way, I guess. And uh, I'm happy to help out my brother there. So, so you guys going to be rocking these? They're going straight to the toe? Or are you holding them for resale? What are you guys doing with them? Oh, um, if, he, if he sells them, I'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're going well, right, right to the getting? toe. Yeah. We've been talking about these concepts, Air Max, since like, they got teeth. leak pictures have been coming out so yeah i don't know i'm trying to get all three but yeah me it's and, been a good week me and fredo were talking today because each of us like our favorite one is a different one of the three so we think nice. it'd be really cool if the three of us could maybe each get our favorite one and we could complete yeah. the pack that way but the, uh, the trifecta yeah yeah wishful thinking we're still waiting for fredo to get his uh pata air maxes so he can match yeah. me and tim <laughs> but, what do you guys think it was do you guys think it was the paddas that really got that air max wave started again or like cause I, before those i wasn't really seeing too much at least consistency wise in the in the air max scene that's a that's a good take actually yeah and, and i think you're right because i know for me personally i looked at an air max before and i was like this is cool but i don't i don't love it um but i love the pada one enough to to get through that and to wear it and and a upon wearing them I found out I do actually really enjoy them so maybe that's the case for some other people as well it just took that one to kind of kind of break through right but the timing is crazy concepts had to be in motion on these hippie joints way before the paddas were out and it, it all seems to hit at once it was like a couple months ago we saw LeBron James wearing these concepts air maxes and if I was sold before once I saw that they just look so good on foot that paisley with like that bandana look with all of the other 60s the colors velvet. nuts yeah so congratulations fredo and uh, nathan unbelievable with the manual copying and and we say he's the hitman who did you meet in person this week <laughs> a, a fellow hitman uh, brett the <laughs> hit brett the hitman heart um can't say enough nice things about that man wow he actual brett the hitman heart Yes, yes. WWE Hall of Famer, <laughs> Brett the Hitman Hart. Um, yeah, what a huge, what a ride man. that was. Yeah, yeah. Met some really cool people in the line and everything like that. It was great. It was only supposed to be an hour long meet and greet. I rushed there after I got off, um, got off work, helping out some friends up here. And uh, we'll get into that later. But anyways, rushed there, um, got in line, was just hoping to get in. And uh, yeah, they came out and they're like, no, we'll get everybody in because like Brett's like sitting everybody down and taking like, like having like a 10 minute conversation with everybody that came through. So yeah, what a, what a gracious guy, uh, funny, uh, it's super kind. 
I actually, I, I pulled off probably the move of the century. I was like, kind of like texting my mom, like when I was in line, cause we used to all watch wrestling together with like my grandma and grandpa and stuff and whatever. So I, and I was texting her just so I knew she had her phone. I was just like making small talk about the stupidest stuff. And then I FaceTimed her and I was like, Hey, uh, my buddy Brett here wants to say hi. <laughs> That's and so she's awesome. on the, yeah, she's on the couch at home, has no idea, right? And I hand the phone off to none other than Brett the Hitman Hart himself. And he was great about it. He loved it. He thought it was funny. And he was like, yeah, so uh, I think you need to get a better grip on who your son's hanging out with up here because he's rolling with the <laughs> wrong crowd. Um, and it, it was just great. And it was, uh, it was super fun. I'm glad that all kind of worked out. And what a, it was Friday. Yeah, what a Friday that was. Were you wearing the New York to Paris joints? I was not. I had the uh, I had the Union Fours on. They didn't overly match, but they matched the shirt I had on at work. Yeah. Um, I do have a fit grid with those New York to Paris's on because it, it does match that shirt as well. Yeah, that's um, and the that colors. Yeah, yeah. The, the shirt is extra special now because uh, he was a big fan of that one. So, you know, right. it's got to be a good Bret Hart shirt for Bret Hart to like it, I, I would think, right? But I digress. More twos. All right. Tim, do you want to bring up that mid first and we can go from there? Sure. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. That's good that we went with that. So this was the first collab. Uh, these are, this is a Parisian fashion label, Maison Chateau Rouge. You might recognize them from such mids as this one. This is a $700 <laughs> mid. That's this Sheriff Woody looking joint here, man. There's no other way to explain that thing. This is, that's, Dude, that's outrageous that that's a $700 shoe. That, I mean, like if one was going to be $700, I guess maybe this one makes sense. But uh, yeah, that's it's a Toy Story looking shoe to me. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Um, anyways, so by that reasoning, this too has to be $1,000, right? This has to go over a rack. If a mid can do that, a two's got to do this. This is, uh, we got a nice cream color throughout this. We've got some... We've got, we see that similar stitching throughout this shoe, but like we got cream and orange here on a two, guys. Come on, no brainer. That tongue is awesome. It's got the yellow jump, man. So the insoles are, are interesting on this, I think. Um, and Tim, if we could switch to the picture where we have uh, both. Yeah, okay. So this to me looks like a traditional tattoo style drawings of Jordan, right? We can agree on that. Yeah. Um, the one on the right is awesome. We got them with the breads on, with the gold chains on. It looks like that uh, sort of wreath behind them is the Cuban link as well, doing that cradle dunk. We love that. And then the one on the left, like, I don't know, that doesn't look like Michael Jordan to me. Hey, that's uh, that's like Michael Corbin or uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. That ain't that ain't MJ. Like, what is it? Like, is that Gary Payton? Like, who? <laughs> that's, that's Charles Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> what does Charles Oakley have to do with this shoe? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but anyways, um, yeah, this is a nice two. I hope I hit this one. I don't know. Um, Oops, I don't know how limited. Oh, sorry. I don't know how limited they're going to be. It, I it heard was it was like 1,200 pairs. Okay, yeah, I didn't see that. I was hunting for a release date and stock numbers, but we know how this goes. We've seen stuff supposed to be GR and it's not, and it's supposed to be limited and it's not. So we'll see. I mean, we get the three laces with this. That is awesome. We get the yellow, the orange, and the, the red. That is definitely an aged pair of laces if I've ever seen one. But this is a fantastic shoe. Um, hot take, I like this more than the Union 2. I think if I was going to do I think if I was going to drop the bag on a two, it would be these mm. bad boys. So hopefully I can hit man these for retail. Um, anyways, courtesy first, I'm going to throw this right to our guest, Nate, and uh, see how he's feeling on these. Yeah, I mean, just like you said, I think the, the color combos on these are super clean. That orange with that cream always hits. Um, again, like I love the resurgence of the twos. I'm not the biggest twos fan, but when it comes out with a pair like these, you, you can't even be mad at those. Like just those small hits of orange, I feel like makes this a lot more of a wearable shoe. Um, so that's kind of nice to see. Um, the, the, the price tag, if you're not hitting that for, for, for retail, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be in your best interest to pick that up. But I mean, 
uh, again, just with those details on the insole, I mean, I don't know if MJ has seen the, that that uh, that drawing of on, on that left one, but hey, I mean, it's, uh, but other than that, I think it's definitely a decent one. But I don't know about that take about the unions. I I think I am feeling the unions a little bit more. It's tough though. It's close. It's definitely close. Uh, I I do like these though. I think very wearable. Um, I could if I can hit these for retail, I would I would absolutely be dropping these. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, um, maybe we'll see another color of these. Who knows, right? Evidently, it is the year of the two, like you were saying. So I guess we'll find out. Tammy, what are you thinking? From the early pictures we've seen, it, it looks like it sits really wide. And I don't know if it fits really wide, but it has a, a look like a wide man's foot. Kind of like, you know, the three looks wider than some shoes. Uh, I love orange on a shoe. This one looks more like a starfish than a shattered backboard kind of orange. And uh, very cool baseball stitching. I, I love all those extras, but I I'm with you, Nate. I was never really a twos fan. Now there are so many, I guess you can choose a favorite. I know I don't like the real original two that's coming out at Christmas that they announced the the red and white one, but like, the, the options we're getting from Ama Manier and Union and, and yeah, I think actually Union is the one I'm most excited about the the tan colored one. That's the first time yeah. I've ever thought I want to spend money on a two. Yeah, those are going to go crazy with those earth, earth tones, right? Like those are I oh, think yeah. a very wearable shoe. I'm with you, man. I think I would take these over the over the Chicago's that are going to be releasing later in the year. Uh, just in terms of just like the details of it, maybe maybe it's going to come out with a couple different features that are not on the original. I don't, I don't know, but uh, yeah, but at least right now, from one of the pictures I'm seeing, I'm probably going with this one too. Fair enough. All right, Fredo, what you thinking? Um, I really like them. Uh, I'm a big like detail guy. I love the stitching and the insole on them, but I think same kind of thing. If I hit them for retail, I'll tell them, but I don't know. I don't think I'm paying resale for them. Not if it's going to be crazy. Like I think it will be. He says this now, but I've seen him do stranger things. Yeah, I'll probably end up paying resale for a pair. I'm not going to lie. Yep. Size 12 will pop up in the groups for like $50 <laughs> under what yeah. StockX is. And he's like, oh, I had to do it. <laughs> it's a steal, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's a steal. steal. It's a steal in the post, man. That guy wouldn't lie. Um, just in terms of like what you were saying, Tim, like similar fit to a three. They're like, that's probably the most similar fit to a three that yeah. I've had um for like any shoe was um even like the cut of it is like super similar but i don't know i found mine super uncomfortable but i don't know fashion over function for me what what pair did you have i had that sample pair of those like arctic orange dawn seas right yeah i remember you, you talking about those now Hey, we're just sort of running out of time on segment one. We can come back and talk some latest pickups and uh, the new colors for the protection pack. Let's do it. Cool. Okay, yeah. quick break. We'll be right back. And we're back. Like cooked crack. Jim, you want to hear a funny story about those twos? <laughs> I think you're muted, Tim. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Okay. So this would have been like when I was first like kind of seriously getting into sneakers and that, but um me and Tabasco were going like pretty heavy on Grailed at the time. Um I didn't really know what I was doing. But there is a pair of those Arctic what is it? Arctic orange. Those like pinkish colored uh dawn c2s so i scooped them they didn't have a box which i thought was kind of sus but i was like whatever and this was before like the grailed authentication like all that kind of stuff yeah but so i got them in was looking at them i didn't know how to tell like fakes and shit at the time but i looked at the tag and i was like looking at some of the pictures online of like you know like the fake versus real like on those pages yeah and my shit was way off <laughs> so i like messaged to or i messaged nathan and i was like yo what's wrong with this and all he responds with is dude that's a sample tag 
<laughs> it said um, sample right across like it said like us 12 like and, and then where it would normally say release date it said sample in like the biggest boldest letters so i was like i'm i was like talking to the person who sold them to me on grail or whatever um and they like straight up told me they're like i'll re like refund you these times 100 if you can confirm that they're fake and i found like they're so their grailed name was like the same as their instagram name so i searched up their instagram and fair enough they were like being followed by like don c and like a bunch of other big guys <laughs> like that i'm like oh this so, checks out little, yeah a little bit of a panic for no reason but so grailed you're like on there dude i'm on <laughs> grailed <laughs> we were so on grailed at one point we were barely even off grailed i think yeah. <laughs> for a little bit there we were so on grailed but yeah i was i was a little scared at one point and then it all worked out in the end so we were good did they end up being valuable shoes um i wore them to like calgary sneaker con um that's kind of like why i bought them but i had warmed to that and then i sold them i think for like 200 bucks more than i paid so I don't cool. know. Yo, well, we've got some orange shoes to look at before we go much further on uh, pickups and uh, all these colors of the protection pack. Tabasco, God damn it, I get it. You like orange shoes, but like, what's the deal here? These are just some blazers, are they not? Just a second. Sorry, it's going to take a second. Yeah, no, we're good. Let me get there. There we go. Hey, there we go. So these are not your average blazer. This is a friends and family blazer low. So a little backstory here. Nike has an in-house department called Ekin, which is Nike backwards under the implication that the Nike retail team knows the product forward and backwards, inside and out. Phil Knight said this is uh, Nike's secret sauce to their success and partnering with a fellow Oregon based sauce company, which is Hab, which I'm, I would assume is short for Habanero. Um, we have this commemorative friends and family shoe to celebrate the 40 year anniversary of the Eakin department of Nike. So this is a very niche pair of shoes we're looking at. Um, this colorway is supposed to be a nod to a faded orange Nike box, like from back in the day. And good God, why can't this come out GR, right? Um, like Nike, are, are, do you oh, listen to this? the box is tough. Bill Knight, do you listen to this? Like, can I get these? I like, I'm Mr. Nike. I'm Mr. Hot Sauce. Like, does, who's I'm? I'm everybody's friend. I'm. I might be family. Like, I need this shoe, don't I? Like, what's going on here? Uh, mini swoosh. That orange cream. We all got to be loving these, right? I'm gonna throw these to Fredo because I know he's a big low top guy, and we'll go from there. Yeah, these are hard. I love like a different box, and I don't know. I think that's sick, but. I don't know. There's not anything about this that I don't like. So, no, these are tough. Yeah, yeah. Phil, we know you're listening. Call <laughs> in, you know, get on the phone, man. We know you're out there, bro. That's, Nate, would... You talk about wearable, Nate. That slides right in. 100%. I was just going to say that. Like, it, like I, have the, I have the Syracuse dunks, and those are those are nice. Just, but it's such a bright orange. I find something like this is nice and subdued, like very, very wearable with much more than people would think. Like that mini swoosh is a nice detail. Lows, just those silhouettes are very easy to kind of stack with some jeans or stack with some, even like some sweats or something like that. But yeah, these are, these are tough. I'm definitely feeling these. One other little thing about these that I, uh, I, I missed was the laces say bringing the heat since 1981 across them. And that's cool as shit to me. I think mm -hmm. <laughs> there's like right. shoes for people. If you know, you know, but even people who know barely know about this, this is like upper level. I didn't know e Eakin existed until you brought it up, Nathan. And I had to read it three times to be like, oh, like it's Nike spelled backwards. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> so super limited means impossible. We'll never see these. Yeah, we're not getting these. That's for sure. Or maybe I am, but I can't speak for everybody. <laughs> right. <laughs> who do like who can sell me these even like i'm sure that's probably not how this whole department of nike works but 
you know but like they seem like one of those like because you can get like friends and family shit on stock x but this is like one of those ones that i don't think will be popping up on there i feel like if you sold this you'd be fired like you know what i yeah. mean that's what i think's going on here so unfortunate for me or i don't know maybe i gotta shoot my resume over there who knows we ready to talk new balance or what boys <laughs> tim's itching <clears throat> The protection pack. Oh, man. So New Balance is releasing more colors of this. We hoped, we suspected, we'd even heard rumor. <laughs> so uh, we're stoked. What we're looking at is the 2002R. All New Balance really did was change up the suede on it. It's all shaggy and like distressed looking. And that was enough to make one of their first ever thousand dollar resale shoes so there's the gray pair there's the black pair there's the white pair and i would really like to get the gray pair they've sold for so much money i wonder what's going to happen to the price on the gray pair once there's more colors i suspect the gray will still be valuable i don't know about the white ones or the black ones so much but gray and new balance it's a legend so there's two colors that we have seen actual in hand so far there's a navy and there's sort of a mossy green and the navy one gives me obsidian vibes it's got like a lighter blue mesh and it's got the navy blue suede the moss greens kind of got that like uh gray on the base and the green on the upper i definitely like the blue better and we don't have any announcements for dates or anything these are just early early looks there were also four other colors that I saw on Instagram. And I mean, these could <laughs> just be photoshops, but <laughs> oh my God, if this purple violet thing happens, sign all of us up. I There's love those. also a, a, a purple sort of lilac version. There is a cream vintage white with the gum sole. And this wild brown that's kind of like those Salehi Bembury joints, very similar to the brown on those. Guys, how do we feel about the protection pack? Do any of the new colors get you sprung? <laughs> <laughs> those ones. <laughs> yeah. I love those. Those ones and then the, the first blue pair you showed, but no, I love these. These are hard. Yeah, I'm 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 with you guys on this one. The like the protection pack with the gray pair. I wanted to get a pair so bad, but those that resale went up like crazy quick too. And then now it's just now it's just not coming down. I hope hopefully this will help them stabilize a little bit, and maybe drop. But gray pair, I think, will still be my favorite. That navy pair is coming in at a close second. And I'm probably going with that cream as like a, as like a rounding off the top three of these. Like all of all of them are hard though. I got to be honest. Just that silhouette. I mean, th that extra detailing with that kind of ripping through. Um, I love that. It's it's very very unique. Um, but this this cream a pair. I feel like I feel like might be the most wearable. Um, that green uh, is definitely definitely pretty good too. But in terms of like a green New Balance, I like those JJ sounds a little bit more. Uh, than 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 this person than this colorway in the protection pack, but all in all, this is a this is a solid launch. I'm excited for these. Uh, I only have the 550s right now, so I'd love to expand my New Balance collection a little bit more and jump in with. Uh, yeah, probably if I can get that navy pair, I'm I'm happy for sure. We love it, man. Part of what was so exciting about the white pair, I think, is called sea salt. Is the customizations that people have done, the dye jobs on them. And this clearly will lend itself to, to being customized as well. I love your take on all the sneakers, Nate, that you just want to expand and take on new silhouettes and find ways to style them. I feel you, bro. Some people are Jordan ones and that's it. We find ways that's to style it. Jordan one. No, no. And I, and I feel like, it, especially in the industry right now, there's a lot of people that are, that are so fed up and so tired with just like seeing that same silhouette styled over and over again. So I love to even myself just break out. Like, I mean, Adidas is having a break 
breakout year with those form lows coming kind of coming back into the mix people chopping those straps off and getting back into vans and, and new balance and all these different things that are just anything but jordan or nike right now so it's, it's refreshing you know what i mean it's refreshing to see those fits and it's exciting to see kind of just something new popping up on your page but yeah the protection pack is definitely something i'd love to, to dip my toe into and grab one of those pairs for sure I got one more pair to get your take on. Nathan, did you want to jump in on these protections? Yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of that uh, that brown or that burnt orange even it looked like. I think that was my favorite of them. Um, be a wild pair to style, but hey, if you're getting a protection pack shoe, why not? Uh, my second would be that that light, that pinky kind of, that first pair we looked at of once we branched off from the, the two we had in. That one, yeah. That would probably be my second. That uh, that mossy green one kind of just looks like a dirty version of the gray to me, I think. Um, it looks like you got your gray ones a little too wet. Yeah, they just need to dry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those. Yeah, Tim, you had a pair that looked like that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, and then, and then of course that first pair, that, uh, that obsidian, Tim, that you were talking about, that one's hard nice to see these come back out again and who knows maybe we'll just keep getting more colors hey maybe they'll run through the rainbow there can't go wrong with these well i'm excited to get my first pair and i can hang on for retail there's no need to be spending too much on these new balance who knows the future of a new balance you're gonna have to call the hitman <laughs> Yeah, I might. I might actually. Okay, so what we're looking at now, this, uh, let's just have a look at this. This is a Bad Bunny shoe and uh, Adidas is doing the raffle on their uh, confirmed app. So this is the response CL. Okay, the colorway is a lot like the ALD 550s, I thought very similar with the cream and the white and the gray. The drip on the side is like the Pata Air Max that we like so much. And the whole thing kind of reminds me of the protection pack, but I don't like this shoe. <laughs> How can you get that close to three things I admire so much and be something that I can't get excited about? And the last pair of Bad Bunny shoes, that's a pair that I think it is fire. If I could have got that for retail, the he did a forum and it had a really weird shape to the back of it. There's like a brown pair and a black pair and those crazy pink Easter pair. So anyways, I'm a fan of what Bad Bunny does and I'm just confused why I don't like this. Am I wrong? I was, I was trying to look for videos. So I was kind of like same boat as you. Like there's a lot of stuff I like about it and I don't know what I don't like, but I think it's the three stripes on the side. So I was mm. looking at videos to see like, how it's stitched because if you could cut that off i think they'd be like way better <laughs> um i don't know that's kind of like the only thing i think that is like ruining it for me yeah but i i don't know there's yeah i don't know you kind of hit it like right on the nose yeah. there's like a lot of stuff yeah. that i like about it but i don't like and i don't know what the things that i don't like is yeah, I don't. I I think I'm right with you guys. I can't put my finger quite on it. I think it just like going back to the protection pack. Like it has that street style vibe a little bit more. You know what I mean? I feel like this is a little bit too much of a like looking like a running shoe almost. Like yeah. you go out and go for a nice run with these. Right. So I think that's what's going on here. Because like yeah, how you broke it down is the the best way to break it down. I would think it's I should like it, but I don't. And I think it's an example kind of like that, or that would be the best way I would articulate it anyway. I feel for the Adidas executives who are like, on paper, this all adds up to a fire shoe. And what I'm looking at just is not what we were hoping for. Yeah. So that's what I've got prepared for the week, fellas. We still got a little time left. If you want to talk about the the new pairs in your life or any pickups that you're proud to show off, this is the time to do it. Who wants to go first? <laughs> Nate, you got anything recently? Um, I mean, just the ones that I, that I just mentioned at the beginning of the podcast. There, like my most recent pickups were the Alma Mir ones, and then the uh, the Fire Red Force. So nothing we haven't <laughs> nothing we haven't seen before, anything like that. <laughs> But we love it. Those are awesome pickups. Those fire red fours are too good. Every time I see them, I like them a little bit more. 
but every time I see them, they're also a little bit more expensive. So yeah, yeah, that's kind of, that's it. they're they're creeping up there. That's for sure. Yeah, they're getting up there for sure. Um, I picked up those Brotherhood Jordan ones. I guess I can even give us a little look. See here, if you want a better look, go to Sneaker Show Podcast on Instagram. We post an in hand look every Tuesday and Thursday, hey. and these hey. were these were last week's pair. So yeah, um, shameless had- plug. Yes, I had to put the yellow laces and oh, we're getting the light. There we go. I had to put the yellow laces in these bad boys. Um, really excited. I've got a shirt that I think will match just nice. I'm just trying to piece everything else together. And I'm coming at Malcolm's head. I'm going to have the better outfit. He's been talking Let's too go. much smack. Prove He's been talking it. too much smack. Yeah, I'm coming for him on this one. Pause. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for these picks to drop. Because I feel like that's the thing. Like you gotta be, you gotta have the, you gotta have it. If you're coming with these ones, like a lot of people are saying, oh, these are tough to style and whatnot. I feel like you can really get a nice fit off of these. Like those tones are gonna go nice for summer. A couple of maybe lighter tones in the pants and stuff. I'm excited to see how you guys pull these off. I know we're we're about the same size too, right? You could probably run those over here on your own, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me look at those real quick. <laughs> get a closer in hand look, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I've heard the leather is really, really nice. And and what are we dealing with here? It's a university gold and then it's like a light Bordeaux. What is that sort of grimace Barney purple that we're looking at? That might be the way to put it. Yeah, it's I know uh, people were saying it was more of a Bordeaux or more of a uh, like a burgundy, but it's definitely purple. Um, there's like hints of red to it, but it's uh, it's definitely purple. Looks like a Mighty Ducks purple. Yeah, that's yeah. a good way to put it. Yeah, like a like a maroon purple almost. Mm-hmm. And the yellow on the outsole, I love that. The just whole bottom. Pops. Yeah. Just pops, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the leather is really nice on these. I'm, I'm impressed. This was a, a pickup I really felt good about. And I called it too, because I, I remember when we uh, we teased these on the podcast when the pictures came out, and I was like, I'm getting these. Yes. <laughs> I actually remember you talking about that. That yes. was one of the ones I saw early on. Yeah, yeah yes, sir. Spoken into existence. <laughs> Dedicated listener. We love it. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, I had a pair to show and uh, they fit okay. Oh, man. It's tough to be an anxiety ridden, neurotic <laughs> idiot. Did you say erotic? Yeah. And <laughs> the, er- <laughs> the eroticism. Uh, it's exhausting. So I had a. Uh, I had a pair. I went and I was at Momentum, local shop. Love that shop. I'm at Momentum with one of my favorite people, Jeremy. He's helping me style these Travis Scott's. I'm stoked on this first pair of Travis shoes. He's given me all these options. I said to him, hey, man, um, I'm doing this new thing at the gym, some sled pushes and pulls and whatnot. Nate knows what I'm talking about. You got to dig in and I'm popping out of my shoes. I'm wearing like some old Reebok workouts and they they got that terry cloth insole and I'm literally climbing right out of my shoes. I can't stay in my shoes. I can't tie them tight enough. Jeremy's like, you need a pair of Hirachis, bro. They'll lock you in. I've never had Hirachis before. I'm a nine and a half. I put on a nine and a half. That's like the tightest thing I've ever put on my foot before. I, I go with the 10. It's still tight. I wore it for a few days and I thought this is uncomfortably tight. I went back to momentum. I trade them in for a 10 and a half. Who am I? Shaquille O'Neal? 10 and a half. This is ridiculous. So, but I tried it. I wore it for a whole day around the house. And I, again, I'm popping out of these. Okay. So now I go back to momentum again. It's me again with these shoes. They're like, look, we want you to have the right fit. If they don't fit, they don't fit. I was like, I'm going to need those tens back. They said, we don't have any more size tens. So I don't have any Hirachis. And that's my story. Pain. Pain. <laughs> oh, man. The dedication on that too, bro. Jeez. Hey, thanks. I just want to get it right. You know, when I get shoes, it's for life. That was yes. a good color where you got too. Yeah. Ooh, I love me like a a brown praline. It was like this cognac uh, crepe sort of color. God damn, it was good. And it had this hot purple. I didn't think that brown and purple would be so good and I miss it. So I really hope that goes on sale soon. I'll get the right size and it'll be good. It'll all be good. Do you guys wear Hirachis? I have a pair. I don't, I don't know. They're down probably like five or six years old but they're like a gal i think they're part of like a galaxy pack they did those and then they did i think a couple air maxes but i don't know they're honestly probably one of the comfiest shoes that i have 
and I, d- I definitely know what you mean by they like they definitely wrap around your foot better than a lot of shoes so yeah they're super comfy yeah i don't know what they put in that foam but it's extra good that was a, a pair i got early on um being into sneakers and stuff i remember picking them up they were just black and white but uh, they were so comfortable mm. Yeah, no dice for me. I've actually never had a pair, but I did know that they, that they, or I've heard from a lot of people that they just fit very tight. So you really do have to either size up a full size or even sometimes a size and a half, which is unheard of, right? But just the way it hugs your foot like that is, you wouldn't expect it, right? So how would you know? Well, and it it sits you up kind of like this. So it's pushing your toes in at the end. Anyway, I see people in them at the gym all the time. I bet you do too. The white ones that get all nasty. God, people yeah. wear the worst shoes at the gym. <laughs> I'm tired of those. Lately, I've been seeing like every other person just in a high blazer, like that same white. Yes, like, I was black, just gonna say the white with the black like, swoosh. The yes, only shoe I see. Like you used to be seeing just like the Air Max low, or sorry, the um, Air Force One low, like every yeah. other every other day. But now it's the blazer, blazer high every every single person. And it's the bros and it's the girls. Yeah, both, both for real. Same pair too. Like it's it's that it's that crazy right now. I like those. Uh, those jumbo uh, blazers though those those aren't bad they give you like a little bit of off-white vibes those are those are decent so the yes. lows and the highs are pretty good but yeah so so saturated right now i feel like everyone's rocking them well that's a wrap on the week boys unless i'm forgetting anything i think that's it cool thanks for rocking with us for uh for f- listening all this way through for watching all this way through yo we're uh we're a small group right now but we're mighty and we're all down so thank you for being a part of sneaker show podcast nate thanks for the first appearance we're looking forward to having you back bro hey it was an absolute pleasure guys thank you so much for having me and uh yeah i'd love to come back on if you guys give me a chance for sure 100 oh, yeah. no problem there where can they find you nate uh, at Nate T3 on Instagram. I've just, just launched up the, uh, the TikTok and some of those videos up there as well. So uh, fits by Nate T3 on Instagram as, or on, on TikTok as well. So I'd love to see you guys follow me there for sure. Fits by Nate T3. Yeah, you got it. That's uh, Sneaker Show podcast for the week. Thanks for kicking it with us. See you next time. Peace, guys.